switching gears now to high school, the high school ranks. Have you ever been to, have you ever been in the stands at a high school sporting event and you or someone else you know yelled at the referees for making a bad call? Well, that's one of many factors that's led to roughly 50,000 officials nationwide leaving high school sports, according to the National Federation of High School Associations. In light of these shortages, one Midwest company is working to solve this problem by educating young people in the Mount Rushmore state. We're about to this tipping point where we have a highly veteran industry that's about to just go over the edge. High school sports may soon be in a world of hurt. The average age of referees is 57, and many of them are looking to hang it up sooner rather than later. Two years ago, Kyle Armstrong created Ref Reps, a company offering officiating courses. In the fall, Ref Reps partnered with the University of South Dakota and the State High School Activities Association to bring college courses to students in Vermilion. You don't have to be a, a licensed official. You don't have to have any officiating experience. The material will kind of do the work for you. If we can hook them up with mentors, if we can hook them up with veteran officials that work state tournaments or, you know, that have been around for several years, we really feel positive about that, that we can continue. We feel like if we can keep them for two, three years, we're going to keep them for a long time. Studies from the National Association of Sports Officials show that age isn't the only reason why numbers are dropping. Treatment of officials is also to blame. Hot Springs Activities Director Mike Deming says this problem stems from spectators. There's always an understanding of what proper sportsmanship should look like and sound like. And so we have tools as officials to help control those things. What we don't have a lot of control over is what's happening out in the stands. Since Ref Reps launched in 2022, 42 states, including South Dakota, are teaching Ref Reps courses. That's translated to over 19,000 new high school officials. It's one of a kind point of view approach is what makes the modules unique. You see the game through the eyes of the officials. You hear the sounds, you feel the speed. You have to make those calls. We challenge you to make calls. And so by the time young people get out and they actually work their first contest, it's a little more comfortable. I've felt this before. I kind of, I know what this is like. The State Activities Association isn't looking for people to drop everything and take on officiating full time. Instead, it's their hope that people will get trained and work when they can. That's the beauty of officiating. You're an independent contractor. So as a result, I can work one night a week. I can work two. I can work five. I mean, I can work as much or as little as I want. Out on the ice tonight, the ECHL is not facing a referee shortage. Yet the Rush are facing a shortage of wins. Ravisty drops tonight's game to Utah 5-3. to three.